as you can jump forward into when it comes to team fights. Dardog actually going to start up the Rift Herald. You have Vrovex roaming. You've got all five members. Team Fish Taco here. Get the repel early here. See where it chooses to go. City Witty burns a flash, and they've got so much CC first blood. And it's Tuesday, baby. Oh, it's God. Taco time. There we go. City Witty a little too far forward, and his bot lane not in a position to move. We saw that rope and. We've seen glimpses of it either from her clips on Twitter or from even her stint on EGP last year in Tier 3. But if she's able to kind of hone in and get to that spot, her and Red should have whoa, a... Whoa, a whoa, nice combo there from TLF. City Witty goes down. Huh? I mean, they're looking oh, for Cerny with the teleport. For Cerny, though, Red is gone as well. Here comes a lore. I mean, it's a big connection there. My goodness. Mia can't fight. There's enough CC to take Aspect down. Mia doesn't really have any damage here to go down. He's a little bit out of distance, at least. And Surdy able to get some back on to Dardock, but a double kill out of nowhere goes across to Robbie Bob. Good job from Taco. They make a really good punish. I mean, mechanically speaking, that was really well played. Glad to see that he's able to do some Scion drifting. He's He got part of that school. He was on the Scion drift speed. I like it. Now we do get Aspect in that side lane, like you had mentioned earlier. We do have actually a capitalization in mid lane as well. Good. Rocket grab, and that makes the difference every time. Dapsha should go down there with the triple. Oh my what? God! He's still alive! How does it happen like this? Tragedy has struck the lines of Team Liquid first. The game, TLF wanted to contest something, but now they won't be able to find much. They're actually pulling up towards the vision, towards the Baron Pit. Hextech Soul is so disgustingly broken. Um, we, like, this champ, like this. Oh, oh, oh what? Whoa. Let's go! That's an amazing buffer. That's insane. I, oh. I don't think I've ever seen that in my what? entire life. <laughs> that was um, actually incredible. I mean, Bro I, like, we've seen similar stuff. Like, I mean, you and me are ignoring everybody. He's, it, no one's matching him. Every time that Surdy wants to be in that lane, Jace is not. And now Aspect trying to find this kill onto a Lorem. It's gonna take a really long time. <laughs> it is. Kraken Slayer does help though, but again, another TP comes through from Taco, and they are the ones stepping forward. And a CC chain from hell hits City Witty oh. and Team Fish Taco. They've shown up huge on a Tuesday. They can potentially even start up this Baron. Baron. We were talking about it now with Robbie Bob here with Red. I was wondering, hey, with this TP coming in, does Surdy try to go for more on these bot lane turrets? But now here, bearing being taken, Aspect pushing in, teleports in. There's no jungler here for Taco, or for TLF. They gotta try to find something. Surdy has said he's been working oh! on his team fights. Can he make the difference? The Inferno from Mia gets grabbed, splashes into the pit, and just dies. Surdy is the only one left now in the fight, and there ain't nothing left to hold on to. Another no health escape for Team Fish Taco. Uh, Mia finds the angle, but it's just too aggressive. No one else is there. Rovex cannot jump over this wall. So they're in a little bit of trouble. With yeah, that. here the we go. Here from everybody, and right onto Mia. There's just no nothing left there. And now you got the ring at the CC chain onto both EDCs. I said there was some risk, and we found out the business as yeah. Team Fish Taco yeah. again and again. They find the fight. They're just picking out the right members at the right time. And there's nothing for them to do here. They'll be able to get excited and potentially leave. Or there's another meaning wave here, and not everybody from TLF. It. They're they're zoned out of the base. They're gonna end. Oh my goodness, they're on in the Nexus Tower. City Witty doesn't want to let it go, but he's going down himself. He goes through the rappel, but the focus is on the turrets. Team it's Fish Taco! What is up with today? And it's Taco Tuesday! They might not be able to finish it as now the rest has to come through. No! no! It's not enough! Oh no! And now Taco go up game number one against our provisional teams of the spice here actually oh, city, right. city, city. and he doesn't get it it's gonna be dardock securing it and first blood for taco is now the re-engage with a oh, huge ignite. dark passive but that explosive charge will get aspect to kill right back we got the gravitum for mia that's flash early from red and a lock him down here up. trying to set up the dredge line but red wants to go around the corner the other side dredge line or actually the the death sentence rather connects with aspect aspect doesn't go down but red goes down to mia oh. in a huge tussle early back to parody or potentially even go towards mid lane open up victor who is just scaling very quietly into yep. this game and it's going to be incredibly problematic for someone like the Aphelios, the Tristana to walk uh -oh. into Pit and River. 
That was a trap and a half. Rovex goes down to Dardock. And that should just be them trying to go for the Rift Herald here, push in this wave, get everything down. Dardock using the Cyclone just to have a little bit of fun City here, but... Still here. Knock back into it. No, none of this no. is connected. What? He's got an impenetrable force field around him or something. It just it just glances off. It's just like, oh, nope. It's like trying to put a cat like to land on its on its back. Just, nope, <laughs> just flips right back over, feet first. Now Mia, she, wait, she got hit. Oh, the death sentence connects and Mia's down. Shut down to red two, extra gold. Oh, and that, that should just be the turret here. Getting excited should mean that they do. A bit of mid lane action here between the team. We must fight for mid lane priority. It's going to be Taco that get it first and one thing to note for TLF is while Robbie Bob hasn't finished his mythic, if they find a huge team fight victory and he's able to get a bunch of evolutions, that is problematic for them. Oh, as aspect, a little bit of over aggression now dead. punished by Dardock, and here he is to answer. That's one more smack of the stick, and Dardock gets the kill. That sentence actually connects on the Rovex. Second oh. activation of the Cyclone comes through. Rovex should be able to get out of this one a little bit dicey, but the Rift Herald starts. Trying to use some of that advantage that we would have seen from a Tristana earlier on in the game, but really it's only Mia right now that's ahead. Here, comes here we City go, Witty. City Witty. Good really angle. Big catch out here. Big damage though on to Red. He's getting back. He's not going to get excited. Red goes down to Rovex. Mia survives, but immediately Rovex is traded back down. So far it's a one for one. The rest of TLF get out alive. Okay. I, that that's a winning trade right there. I traded my support. Boy, he'll make it out of there. We take those though. Team uh -oh. Fish Taco, they're just starting up the Baron. They recognize why is City when he bot lane. Let's go for a huge punish here. And now TLF, they're gonna have to answer this. Remember, There's the no teleports no coming in. I mean, they they don't really have much to speak of here. They're Aspect. The Aspect is just trying to take somebody out of it. Red is gone, but now the Baron has gone over to Taco. Here come reinforcements. They found Mia, though. Mia all by herself, and that is it. Another pick out, and now Taco, with this Baron buff, should be able to reset. Maybe not even reset. Going to go for City Winnie, who has to burn that flash. To play, and it works out yet again. Massive Red in win some for trouble. Them. Aspect trying to get a little bit of gold back for TLF. He does have Daxon oh! right there, gets him though, and it's a trade back. TLF trying to go ham here, as Cerny's in the middle of a 1v3, he won't be able to pull it back. Now City Winnie in some trouble too, the fight just continues. As Dardog trying to catch him, but he can't find the distance as Robbie Bob is now on a killing spree and Taco coming alive yet again. Oh man. Down, that's huge. Alora wants to get in there, but can't do it. The cast comes through. Damage back from Mia though. They got some response here. TLF ain't going down without a fight. They got four members still here. Moonlight Vigil comes across, but can't hit it. Red is in some trouble now. City Winnie wants to go in, but that goes golden for Red. And now City Winnie getting go so low, and Red gets excited. Red. Which means Team, Team Fish Taco oh. moving forward should be able to siege down this tower. They still have a minute on the Baron buff. They have two to Alorum, and it's working out so well. A final tower will fall in defense of the inhibs, and this should be an excited Red going back into the fight. They've already caught out Dardock now. A man down, right, the Death Charge goes in on the Robbie Bob, but here here comes Red now. Moonlight Vigil connects and a lot of damage goes down. You got City Witty in the front still trying to take out Alora, but he's getting tanked down now himself. But you've got Cerny who caught out the side and the double ADC oh, is going to oh, survive. Oh, Mia. Mia. No, the shutdown goes through to Robbie Bob from the grave. The Shadow Flame, the Leandries all doing work, but it is a three for three. And because they win them plus Runons is very difficult. Death but her front line. Connects, and that might just be the death sentence for this first series. We'll see that damage back though. That Infernum does some work. Is the fire hot enough for Mia? Tarduck down and Mia is popping off. The prodigal 80 carry returns to the roster to try and save her team from relegation. She is holding a huge defense, but Robbie Bob is up in five seconds. His teleport will be available. I think Team Fish Taco just have too much. Everybody from the only thing, the only one standing here in the upper bracket. One goes down. It's not enough. They get wait, the wait, down. wait. Is it Alorum on the Nexus? It's not enough. Oh my God. <laughs> If only a Jinx ultimate can oh, hit structures. No, oh, wait, no, no! no. no <laughs> oh my god! Team Fish Taco!